What is going on, people? Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu Live. You're hosted by yours truly, Glendon Cameron, your fairy, no, your, your hustling godfather. That's what I am today. I was going to approach this from a very angry, tirade, crazy standpoint, but I feel that I should use this stuff as a teaching moment. So you're going to see the kinder, gentler, slightly funny, Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, as we get into this. Now, um, some of the stuff that we need to get into, while I get this other site, Disruptive Mail Prep, together, everyone can get, let's go to the right camera, use that promo code, spend $150 or more, and you'll be a lifetime member of Disruptive Mail male preparatory got to spend 150 more plus this coupon gives you 50 percent off all right let's get into this classic classic stuff and uh let's see i need to make someone a mod because i'm gonna need a bunch <laughs> i'm gonna need a bunch i already know all right so hold on a second let's get into it so today's title is how to start a business of 2018. Emotions don't trump facts. The truth will make you rich. Um, we're going to talk about some stuff that make, 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 make some people a little uncomfortable. But that's what we do here. This is where we are. Okay. So let's go into my chat room. Well, my comment section. And here we go. I may have to blow it up for you guys to see it, but nah, that should be good enough. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put a little juice on it just in case. And I'm not going to go all the way in on this because there's a lot of good comments, but Mars, Mars, apparently you never heard of HMM clothing store. They can't even give their clothes away. 85% 85 off sales for months. Uh, Papa John's stock fell. You're wrong on this. I'll be back to smear it in your face. You know what? I think Marles is going to rub his vagina on my face. You know, it's like, here it is, Big Daddy. Here it is. It's wet for you. Right? I think that's what Marles is going to do. But let's continue on. So he goes on and... I tell him, because if you didn't know, H&M has been in trouble for years, years. This ain't nothing new. Most physical store retail is in trouble. It's just been like that. But they, they've had they've been in trouble for about five years. So he comes back. Hustlers Kung Fu. H&M wasn't suffering before the backlash. You merged the two to make your point look more valid. Online sales are suffering well with H&M. Papa John still hasn't rebounded from their backlash as well. Sure, certain areas will do better than others. Actually, they were. Now, let me just go ahead and pop this for you. Now, this was, um, well, what date was this? This was September 28th. The monkey thing didn't happen until this year. So they were pretty much in suicide mode, crisis mode, right? But, um, Marles, he didn't want to hear that. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So I banned him. But essentially, what I got, what I want you to get, like, see, I didn't even go in on him. I didn't even go in on him, right? Uh, what I want you guys to realize is regardless of how emotional you may get about something, that's not going to change anything. It's not like. You know, I did do some research. Starbucks actually got rid of this person. They actually did. Quickly. So, like I said, in the mornings, this morning stream, they're not really going to suffer a lot from this. But, Hotep Nation, and I'm going to be very kind here. Hotep Nation, you know who you are. Y'all really need to unsubscribe from this channel and stop commenting. Y'all have been on me for like six or seven years. I am not Hotep. 
I will never become Hotep. I am not down for that. What you believe in, which is your fundamental right to believe in that, I don't. I don't think protesting is going to do anything. I don't think marching is going to do a lot. I do believe getting your economics together because, you know, from where I sit, if 25 percent of the black population was millionaires, most of our problems would disappear overnight. That's just me. But once again, from me to you, I bid you goodbye. There's no reason to post on here. There's no reason to try to smear your vagina in front of my face. Um, I don't need that to why. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm quite sure your vagina is very lovely, but that's not what I want. So no smearing of the vagina on my face. Don't smear it in my face, okay? You keep your vagina to yourself. You keep your comments to yourself. And you keep whatever you're doing to yourself. And I'll do what I'm doing over here. And you can do what you're doing over there. That's friendly, right? That's cool. I'm not even going off. Because um, I feel this needs to be a teaching moment. So that's Mars, 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 whatever it is. And you ever notice how all these cowards never post their real names or, or pictures of their face? It's like they're ashamed of who they are. I wonder if that's the case. So uh, let me get to number two. <laughs> it's this kind of day, man. Let's see. Can I, um, I don't know. Can I see comments on here? I guess I can't. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not going too far. I'm going kind of close by. But I really want y'all to see this. Because I normally don't show this kind of stuff. And that's my Instagram. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to have some crazy stuff on there. I mean, for real, for real, for real. So uh, definitely be part of that effort, that experiment. All right. I don't know where it is. Ah, okay. Hold on a second. I got to find out where my comments. Nope, 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 nope. Not there. Well, I could use that. Hold on a second. Um, I'm kind of getting toward um, where I want to be. Let's see. Aha. Okay. This should guide y'all into this. But while it's doing that, I'm going to look for some stuff. Ah, you know what? I am such. Oh, great. Don't tell me it's going to freeze up now. It's going to freeze up. <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> I am clowning today. I, I really am. Okay. So, let's see. Um, is it going to bring it up? Nope. It's not bringing it up. Curses. Curses, curses, curses. Okay. So, Essentially, I had this fool on Instagram who was like, I can read. I can read these comments to you. Actually, I can kind of show them to you because I did screenshot them. I should have did that. But let's see. Let me go over here to the second camera. And this this is this is kind of worth this is the juice. It's, the, it's, it's worth the squeeze. All right. Uh, I'll just read it. It'll be much quicker if I just read it. And I'm going to use character voices, so take take note. Hey, Glendon, I've really been watching your channel since 2008. That's really wild because the channel didn't start in 2009. And you're a positive person, but you have to give some content away sometimes. Mean building a six-figure business from the ground up and take your viewers behind the scenes. Me. 
I gave money making courses away for free. 95% of the people did not open them. A behind the scenes look is nice, but unless you're the person doing the work, it means nothing. Thanks for the love on the channel. Now, I thought that would have been cool. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, man, if you build a business from scratch to show your viewers, you will blow up. Nobody's doing that. Not even Ty Lopez. Okay, there are many people doing behind the scenes videos. There are a lot of people doing that stuff. A lot of people. So me, I become the cranky hustler. I kind of get into it. Dude, you don't get them showing that. People don't tune in when you're talking about the hard and grimy work of showing the, biz of showing the business from scratch. The live streams are free, high-value content. I answer direct questions. It doesn't get better than that. Have a great day. This is me in my Leroy voice. Hold up. Wait a fucking minute. If you've been watching me since 2009, why don't you have any fucking money? His response, you being disrespectful. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you. This, this is worth the squeeze. There it is. You being disrespectful. So I hit him up with a few more questions. I'm telling the truth. Why don't you have any money since you've been watching me since 2009? Solid question. And he opted out of the conversation. So to you good people out there, I am done with free. I've talked about that for a long time. I've gave away courses, high value courses for six months. 95% of the people didn't even open them. I cannot do the work for you. I cannot hold your dick while you pee. Even with gloves, I'm not holding your dick while you pee. It is on you, my good people, to do the work. I have free content on this channel that will make you money. But you don't want to do that. And as a citizen of the United States, it's your God-given right not to do that. But don't harass me into giving you content that you want to do for free. So once again, like I told the hotel people, I'm telling you, unsubscribe, move on. We weren't meant for each other. It just ain't working out. Now that's friendly, that's direct, and that's honest, I feel. So we shouldn't have any more problems. <laughs> and now to the real show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breaking up with the whole tips and the lazy mofos. Essentially, when you operate in truth, it can make you rich. Uh, the truth doesn't care who tell it. The truth doesn't care who lives it. The truth is going to deal with you the way that it's going to deal with you. You can't escape it. You just can't. So one of the first things you have to do is get really real with yourself. Like Keter said, Keter, check out that video. He dropped so much knowledge. You got to stop the excuses. I can't do it because I'm a mouse. I can't do it because I'm living with my mom. I can't do it because I don't have any money. I started this channel with $289. If you can't scratch up 300 bucks, you got more problems than this channel can help you with. Because... If you are looking at $50, $100, $200, $300, $500, like that's life-changing money because for, for you, it is life-changing money. You got some work to do. <clears throat> Seriously, you got some work to do. You got something to, to shape up. You got, you got work to do, okay? So part of dealing with the truth is dealing with <clears throat> your jankiness. Once again, like, here's the truth. I liked my 30-day email campaign. I worked so hard on it. But when I got on the phone and talked to a lot of you, and I heard that, oh, I buy within the first week of finding you. I buy with it. The truth was like, fool, you losing money. The truth is, this email campaign needs to go. Got rid of the email campaign, started doing direct... Response marketing, cream, cash rules, everything around me, dollar bill, dollar bill, y'all. I mean, I quadruple my profits. I quadruple my income from making that change because I wasn't afraid to get on the phone and talk to people. I wasn't afraid to face the truth. You got businesses out there that are leaving money on the table because they don't want to face the truth. 
that maybe your advertising ain't working. <laughs> but because it's easy, you know how to do it, you keep doing it even though it's not getting any results. It's a crazy thing. It, it, it is a crazy thing. All right, so I'm going to do a little shout out. And once again, for those of you who want the lifetime member membership to disrupt, man, I'm going to tell you about my workout in a minute. Disruptive mail, use the code MYDUDE. The links are below and get 50% off of anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. And you spend 150, you get. Lifetime membership to Disruptive Mail Prep. All right. What's up to Wild Jones Report? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, since we're going to war, we really are at war. I'm going to need some more. What's up, Zola? <laughs> you lot of y'all are getting... I am deputizing y'all. Uh, let's see. What's up, this dude bakes? <laughs> Cause I know the whole tip this will come. No, no, no. We're not gonna do WWE Glenda. No, we're not doing that. What's up, AKW Beats? I think I got him as a mod. Yeah, got him as a mod. What's up, Shante Sims? What's up, Michael Mack? Kindle Vision. Erica Williams, Be Real, Johnny Walden. <laughs> Miss Finance, Josco, Edward Anderson. I'm going to give Edward a badge. <laughs> All right. What's up, Dion King? Ganja, makes you wonder if they did that money shirt to gain, the money monkey shirt to gain publicity. Thinking like a wolf in sheep clothing, but it's still. I think they were desperate. I think they were desperate because they had these problems for a while and they just made a very dumb decision. But it, I mean, they were already in trouble. Gunge, I used to be hotep until I studied economics. Logic reigns supreme. Pro black people are usually broke. <laughs> All right, Kylie Green. <laughs> Clap it up for Kylie Green. Open up your business account today. Pretty much. All right, Edwards. Tina Lewis. Awesome. You're doing it. You're putting in that work, girl. Exactly, Ganja. Pretty much, Johnny Fromm. All right, Jore. AKW Beats. Them voices. <laughs> Pretty much, um, but they got rid of him. Thank you, Edward Anderson. Agent J. Pool, the game is to be sold, not told. Anybody say you should give everything away for free should politely kill themselves. And J. 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 Agent J. Pool got an anger problem. He always mad. I mean, let him loose on y'all. Put some respect on that. <laughs> I know, Edward. I know. This dude begging figures he would bow the combo when he asked why he didn't make any money yet. Well, like, like I said, this is the uh, kinder, gentler Glendon. No reason to either anyone. No one. No reason to insult anyone. To politely ask them to leave and unsubscribe because after today, I'm gonna go ham on them. I'm gonna have so much fun with them. Because, like, if you keep coming back to a place that n doesn't want you, hey, the gloves come off. Oh, you, you should see it. They'll school you. Oh, I, you know, I'm not even worried about it because I know, like, you wonderful people who show up in the streams, you wonderful people who buy products, you wonderful people who get it. Uh, I see it in the comments. This fool asks, like, 
well, you've been watching him for so long. What in this weird punctuation thing, what have you gotten? You know, tell the truth. You know, I'm asking questions that no one ever asked. And the dude replied, money. No response. So, you know, I got I know I got some backup, so I appreciate y'all. And I'm gonna focus on y'all. I'm gonna ether the shit out of them after the day. But in the meantime, I'm gonna focus on y'all because the thing with the truth is very serious. Um I was having digestive issues. The truth is I was up at night burping and all kind of gas and bloated and swollen because the truth of the matter is I have an allergy to gluten and a lot of bread. It is so bad that I can eat some bread and I will be sick 30 minutes to 40 minutes later. And I mean, very, very sick. So I had to remove bread out of my diet. That's the truth. And I love bread. Well, I should say I had to reduce the bread because I've been toying around with it. Because I could eat some bread, I just can't eat as much as I used to. That's why before I came in here, I had a salad with some strawberries and some nuts and stuff and some spinach. That's what I had. And that's why I've been losing so much weight. <laughs> Every day I get on the scale, I lost like poundage. It's crazy. But that's the truth. And I got to live in the truth. And the truth is, I just can't eat a lot of bread. These are facts. But many people will still eat that bread and suffer because they don't want to deal with the truth. This is human nature. And a lot of people don't want to deal with the truth. Uh, let's see what's going on here in the chat room. <laughs> uh, don't have a hat resale course yet. Okay. Oh, because, all right. The power to the people, the pro black, there's only one of them that talks about money, and they actually talk junk about him. I think it's Brother Polite. He actually talks about getting money and doing building business and stuff, and they think he's crazy. Uh, most of them don't have any money, and they don't have any economics, and they are lost in history because. It was Africans that taught the Europeans how to buy and trade. So when they so you hear someone say, don't buy into the system that bought into you. Shaka, 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 shaka. Well, if you knew your history, you know, black folks taught them how to do that. So you're actually actually um, exhibiting African traits by building your own business. Commerce. Yeah, I know. But see, hotepness is to me an escape because anyone can have an opinion. Anyone can say, well, this is how I feel. Because this is what Morris was saying. This is how I feel. When I hit him with some facts, which you can go to Google and verify, and you can look at their K2s and see they've been in trouble for like five or six years. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. See, Morris was raised by a single mother, and Morris was very much into his feminine and I'm going to tell you why. Because if I didn't cut it off, that would have went on all day. Because Mars has the attribute of women that I need attention. He knew I was right. But no, 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 no. Because he's like, he's giving me attention. He's making my nipples hard. He's paying attention to me. And then when I would go away, he's like, no, come back, come back, please, please, please pay attention to me, please. I will keep doing this all day because I don't have shit to do with my pathetic, sad ass life. Please, 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 please pay me some attention. Please go back and forth with me. I know this is fruitless. I know this is stupid, but I got to have that attention because I'm a bitch. That's what that was about. It wasn't even about logic. It wasn't even about reason. I have a friend on Facebook who disagrees with virtually everything that I put out, but he disagrees respectfully and he's a reasonable person. He's like, I can see your point here, here, and here, but this is my point, counterpoint, point, counterpoint, and we get along just fine. It isn't that you can't disagree with me. You just can't get into your feminine bitch assness and start making up shit and pulling it out of your ass. 
and then expect me to continue to deal with you because the new social policy, and like I said, I've said goodbye. I've said carry on. I've actually reversed the Mr. Rogers song. Let's not be laborers. Go on about your business. Leave this channel alone. Leave the comments alone. Because I'm going to tell you something. Most of you are broke. Most of you have bad credit. And most of you are scared to make money because it is easy to have an opinion. It is easy to study African history. But to actually lift a finger and facilitate change to improve your life, to actually do something that is hard and difficult, we don't want none of that. Can't get these hotel hands dirty. Mm -mm. No, no. Well, I can make a bean pie and I can give you that. Or I can make a dashiki. I, I can do that. But like, oh, no, no, no. Start a business and actually employ people who look like me and create commerce and stuff. Now, nah, miss me with that. I ain't here for that. I didn't come for that. I came here to be a bitch ass this and argue with you about nothing. That's what I came for. Um. Uh, Oh, yeah. So let's see. Pretty much facts be damned. All right. Y'all right. school them because I love how y'all help people out in the chats. We got a lot of good people here. <clears throat> All right. AKWB says real talk. My FB ads was getting clicks and subs, but no sales. I had to go back to the drawing board. Can't be afraid to pivot. And did you know that FB ads are substantially more expensive now? DJ Slink. So you have to have some type of money, capital, create a business? No. Not in 2018, baby boy or girl. I don't know what you are with the DJ Slink, but whatever. No, you can have an ideal. But here's the hard, hard part about it. You're going to sweat and execute like a motherfucker. You're going to execute so hard, you're going to lose weight. That's what it's going to take. When you don't have money, you have to execute. Cleaver took the first 30 days to 2,500 course, had no money, had no place to stay, nothing. And he's like, what about someone like me? I said, well, start a service business. What can you do? He says, I can fix computers. Well, go around your town, offer your services. Cleaver Got on the bike. You see Cleaver going down this road in Kentucky. Rolled into town. Talked to some people. An Asian people that own the salon. Got his first deal. $700. He didn't have a business license. He didn't have a business check in the account. He had nothing, but he had experience and talent, and he went in there. And in six months, he went from sleeping on his friend's sofa to owning that house, and he met the niece of the owner of the salon, and they got married. You know what's <clears throat> the difference between Cleaver and a lot of y'all? Cleaver took action. Cleaver did not go, well, that ain't going to work. Man, I want to know. I want to do what he doing. I ain't trying to do this. Cleaver's like, well. Well, let me try it. <laughs> and it worked out. He took action. So, no, you don't need any money, but you need a lot of action. You need a lot of execution points. You need to get on it. You need to be hustling seven days a week. But you can start a very profitable business without a dime. What's up, Perceptions Media, Cashmatic? Levinsky, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I know, Stefan. I know, man. You gotta work, man. You gotta work. Awesome new vision. Bitch assness needs ethering. Well, not today. We're not gonna do that today. But I have a feeling some of them aren't gonna listen and they're gonna come in here. Steph, I agree 100%. If you want freebies all day long, please take a long walk or to go on the short period. Because the thing that got me was when I asked him some real questions, he's like, you're being disrespectful. You're being disrespectful. See, I I'm going to tell you why they come at me like this. Because I actually talk to you. You can actually ask me questions in real time and I'll ask them. And I ain't going to stop this. But I am going to stop dealing with hotepness and these people who want something for free. 
And I'm going to come at them hard. And a lot of them ain't going to be able to take it. King Crypto, there are some talented people out there who give it all away for free and don't charge. There's a whole nother mess up to uh, another mess up to teach on. Well, I'm going to tell you um, what I know from people who did that. There was someone I'm not going to mention his name because you would know. I'm not going to mention her name because you would know. And they did that. They almost lost their house, their houses, giving stuff away for free. Giving to it hurts. It almost hurt because uh, one of them took their last two grand and booked a consultation with me. They had last two thousand dollars. I took it too because I wanted them to execute. And I was like, "Well, first of all, you got an email list, right?" That's like, "Yeah," and you've been giving all this shit for free. So what you want to do is for the people who open all your emails, you want to categorize that and segment them from your email list, right? And then you want to create a special offer and you're going to do a boot camp. And they listen to everything I did. They packaged it up. They made fifty fucking thousand dollars in a week. And the dude called me up and was like, fuck. I am never giving the shit away or free ever again. <laughs> a lot of good people out here are and see, this is the thing. You got it's kind of like, you know, good girls hate hoes because hoes are messing up the games with good girls. It's kind of like those folks. It's like, well, yeah, I'm giving you outstanding content for free. Yes, I am not going to charge you a dollar. And you could take this content and make thousands of dollars. Bet. And then they ask for some money and they're like, you know, that girl you were smashing. She never required you to take her out. You always rolled over to her house, and now she's on, she wants a relationship, and you like, <laughs> just roll over. Come on, stop playing. <laughs> relationship? You! <laughs> That's what they're doing to themselves. <clears throat> Dang, Ganja. O'Shea has had a change of heart, man. 2000, no, 2008. He was 2008. It wasn't 2009. It was 2008, which I knew he was lying. Hilton, the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. That is true. It does, unique. It starts in the mind. Ganja, them hoteps the reason my aunt ended up 500K in debt. Whoa! Tell that story, man. Logic reigns supreme. Great information should not be free all the time. Nope. That's right, Edward. France Joseph, should I invest my $20,000 savings or keep it in an emergency account and invest my next $10,000 in real estate? France Joseph, do this. Take your $20,000 or your $10,000 or whatever, your thirty dollars whatever you got. Put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. Put it in an account that doesn't even have an ATM card. Then what you need to do is sit down and figure some stuff out. Because here's a little secret that a lot of people won't tell you. Just because you have money don't mean you'll be successful. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, Damon John, and some other celebrity, they all got together. They put their money together, $7 million into this clothing company, and it failed. Damon John, he had FUBU. Ashton Kusher, he knows what he's doing. And Damon John said, well, you know, we, we just overthought the market. So a lot of money can hide blind spots and deficiencies. So pretend like you don't even have that 20 or 30 grand. And like, what can I do to make money today? And start operating out of that. Do not, because, I mean, seriously, $10,000, unless you live in the outskirts of Kalamazoo, ain't going to really get you much real estate. Maybe get you a tax lien sale or something like that. So keep your money. Uh, she pulled out 500 k in loans to start her law firm just because she feels she got an MBA. Had all of the hoteps lining up and 90% of them didn't pay and the 10% was asking for layaway. I am silent. Wow. 
that is that that's that's kind of blowing my mind right there. That is, that's really blowing my mind right there. Wow. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm gonna be real. <clears throat> when I shut down the consulting office, which was next door, and I let everybody go, I didn't have to do that. But I saw where the market was going. And I'm like, and this is a decision. You know, it sounds brutal, it sounds cold, but when you know that a certain business model isn't going to work and you have money in the bank and everything, you, you could just like just say, let's figure some stuff out, right? Don't do that because essentially Valencia and Patty were kind of sitting around with not a lot to do. And I was paying them a lot. I was paying them a lot. So what's going to happen is, and they're good people, and this didn't happen, but it could happen that here I am making X, X, Y, Z, but I ain't really doing much. So when I asked them to do much, I get a case of the ass. <laughs> That's why I had to go. Because by the time that I got them trained into the new thing, we've been eight, nine months down the road. I mean, being the boss is about being brutal sometimes. You got to do what's best for the business, not what's good for your employees, not what's good for you, but what's good for the business. And that's why I'm still in business. Wow. Oh, yeah, y'all can hit that super chat. Thank you. Uh, I will see you in a minute. I almost forgot about that. I'm selling some items I'm not using on selling apps. Every potential customer is always trying to buy some for the lowest price amount. This one lady was trying to go bullshit and buy two. Yeah, there was this bitch on this show, and she was talking about whenever you go to a garage sale, even if it's a good deal, I always ask for more off. I always just, you know, get a little more off. If it's 10, ask for five, you know. I wanted to slap that bitch to sleep. Kindle Vision, appreciate you. Uh, hearing your Michael Mack, hearing your scared little bitch in the bootstrap is the best info a newbie can have. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ken Williams, Anthony Johnson. No one wants to work hard. That's why it's so easy. You got to do the work. Ken Williams. What would you say to someone in situations like wage garnishments? Not so much 1030K ready, but trying to avoid the garnishment, hustling like fuck while working under the table for what you have. Ken Williams, let me tell you what I did. You know why I got in the storage auction business? You know why I started the, my own business? You know why? There was one single reason. My ex-wife. She would take my ass back to court every time she felt like it to get for what's called reconsideration. Because if I had some more money, she felt she needed a raise, right? So I got sick of it. And I went off the grid. I was like, she tried. I mean, you could, you know, y'all can thank her. This is why the Hustler LLC and all this stuff. Because I was like studying. like It's like, what can I build that she can't get? And as long as I had a job, they just take my money. There ain't nothing I can do about it. Because the employer wasn't going to pay my child support. they just take my money. So I got to a situation where I was forced to hustle to make good money. I wasn't hustling to make like an extra $500, $1,500 a month. I was hustling to make livable money, and I did it. That is the reason that I got into you know GC Solutions, the storage auction business, because they were cash businesses. No one ever knew what we were making. That's what I did, man. So you got to turn your under the table hustle into a legitimate hustle and leave yourself out of it. Because I'm going to tell you, let's just go ahead and get in this because I haven't mentioned this in a minute. Really? All right. I suggest y'all get the Hustler LLC. And at this price, it's like 750 bucks. And I'm going to tell you why that will save you so much. How many people here pay $700, $1,800, $1,500 a month child support? If you want to be honest, I mean, I'm not going to force you. I can't force you. But how many of you are paying that kind of money for child support? How many of you are paying more? By creating a financial instrument to absolve yourself of your company and your assets, when they come after you, you don't have anything. So literally... This could save you 
thousands. Let me say this again. This could save you thousands if you're a single man. Now, if you're a married man, you're going to have to hustle and you're going to have to be on your P's and Q's like you never before. But either way you go, this is why when people are like, man, it's so expensive. I'm hearing that the average dude is paying like six fifty a month child support. When you look at it in those terms, it ain't expensive. Seven fifty, it could literally save me like three, four, five, six G's a year for the next eighteen years. <laughs> it comes very, very cheap because I'm gonna raise the price. I'm just letting you know. No time soon, and I'm raising it now, but I am raising it because I'm gonna put some more stuff in there. So just letting y'all know. But you can use the fifty percent off discount promo code any course, and you spend one hundred and fifty or more. Booyah, you become a lifetime member of Disruptive Mail. Uh, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Unique suitcase. I was selling for 35 when one was clearly $5 more than she started making excuses. Man, sometimes you got to let that bullshit go. And what I mean, I know what she's doing was bullshit, but... When you got an item that's hard to sell and you get someone, even though they're like, oh, needlingly, just let it go and get more inventory and keep moving. Because I learned that lesson the hard way because I was like, well, I want this and I need this. Right. And then it'd be like a blue moon for another customer comes that's interested in that oddball stuff. Just putting it out there. All right. Thank you for the super chat, Erica Williams. Kim Williams, to pay off all whatever is garnishing their wages at once. Uh, once again, you got to let the home run mentality go. Uh, there's a few people who can come out and hustle and make 50, 60, 80 grand and boom, knock it all out. But they ain't going to happen. It's going to be a long, arduous process. What you want to do is get you a side hustle that makes you three to five grand while keeping your job. And then you don't want to put that money in the bank. That's what you got to do. That's what I did. I ain't going to tell you, at one, at one point, I had 100 k up in my house, cash money. And it was funny. I had a girl over, and she, because I was being stupid, and I had it out, and she picked it up, and I, I became like a monster. It's like, what are you doing with that? Take your hands off my money. <laughs> she's like, hey, I'm just, she's like, you're a drug dealer? That kind of turns me on. But, you know, anyway, I'll tell that story later. But, yeah, and uh, after she left, I actually moved that money somewhere else just in case. Deuce, deuce. Everyone loves disruptive mail. Edge and J. Poole, I learned by keeping an assistant on the way longer than I needed to, keeping him almost a year after the biz model cost me 20K. I hate debt. No date. Logic, Logic Supreme. Uh, $2 super chat from I don't know who. Edward Anderson, a little bit of controlled elbow grease goes a lot further than it ever did. Yes, it does. Uh, Josco, my stomach dropped on that news. I, I know people in business can take losses, but still, I know. 89 Dr. Funk, thank you for the $20 super chat. Unique, exactly. A 9 to 5 alone will only sustain you. And this is why... You got a double hustle. You got a double time. I will tell you the best job to have is a security guard, a security guard. You get paid and you're just sitting around and you can bring your laptop out. You can work on your phone. You can do that double time. Edward answered, yo, that's what my mom, dad did to my mom. <laughs> Go, dad. Go, dad. <laughs> I mean, dude. She didn't, I mean, she didn't want me to have dreams. Uh, oh, kids aren't, man, kids aren't the problem, man. Kids are wonderful. Kids are great. It's just that mother. Uh, let's see what we got here. Hold on, hold on. Swoop man, my ex did the same thing and they reduced my child support because I'm a disabled vet and she stopped talking to me take, and she stopped taking me in for a raise. All right, Swoop man, 1972. New vision, 1400. Thank you for sharing. Yes, it is unique. Cashmatic, thousand bucks a month. 
Charles A. 288. I think 280, 290, let's say 300 to 400 bucks is reasonable for one kid. I really do. But you, you got to pay more than that because even though that covers the cost of the kid, that doesn't cover her. Ken Williams, Puff paying 40K a month. I'm not worried about him. He's He just does a lot of dumb stuff anyway. Fred Everts, that's disrespectful, but I'm late. I mean, yeah, it's like you being disrespectful. What's up, Michael Watley? Thanks for the $2 super chat. <laughs> Maurice Sanderson. <laughs> Shantae Sims, wow, people are actually still stupid enough to give courts jurisdiction over their kids. Man, hold up. Shantae, I don't know where you've been. You got mothers running down there like they're, they're like, she's she's in first place. No, she's in first place. She's in first place. And stanky baby mama wins by nose. That's how I <laughs> running down there like, quick, what are you talking about? Uh, Perceptions Media, 634 for one child is over now. She's over 18, but she was able to get 20K from my full 1K. Y'all need see. I ask these people, and once again, gentlemen, thank you for sharing. Y'all don't get it. You could be making sixty thousand dollars a year and be paying fifteen hundred dollars a month child support for one kid. Let's do the math on that. That's eighteen grand. I chose sixty, which leaves you um, forty-two. Oh wait, you getting your full taxes on the sixty, which leaves you like twenty some thousand dollars to live on a year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mary, she's just crazy. Uh, uh, it's 30 days to 2,500 physical products. Logic reigns supreme. $1,000 for child support would be stressful. Stop rewarding women. Protect assets. <laughs> A lot of men, man, they don't want to. They got to. Ken Ames, kids should never be the problem. That mother is almost worse paying. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. Kids are great. Kids kids are like, you know, when you're, you know, for the fellows who have kids, your kids don't come up and say, like, buy me a Porsche. They don't say that. They're like, what's up, Dad? Can you give me an ice cream cone? Can you spend some time with me? Can you kick the ball with me? That's what the kids want. They don't want a lot of money until they get older. <laughs> if a bullsome, I can't do it. Charles Hall, that's why I'm in security now and I'm working on taking it online because I'm a Georgia licensed instructor. I train security officers in uh, private investigators and firearms. Ben the bartender, my ex. Whoa, 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 whoa. My ex had me paying $1,200 at one point. Family, medical, child support combined. I begged and pleaded for her to get the shit taken off. She struggled off like, oh, well. Shanti, my husband gives me for all three and pays me no court costs, 400 bucks. So Shante Sims, since you jumped in there, is that something y'all worked out and you just being agreeable and nice and reasonable person? Or is that's just what his income dictates? I know, Unique. All right, Deron Brandt, thanks for the $5 super chat. Here's a little something for me to you because I don't cry the blues when I lose and I keep the same grin when I, when I be Maybach Black Dick in Marshall. <laughs> All right, man. Alaska used to be $1,000 a month mandatory because the cost of living in Alaska for child support. Military dudes would go crazy to try to get their papers on the, out of there. Wow, I didn't know that. It's, it's crazy out there. Hilton, you ain't never lied. I'm watching your coast holding an operating course version. After I get that situated, which course do you recommend? I just created a no mobile notary service last year. 30 days to 2,500 should get you rolling. Uh, Mike C., yes, I did. She's mad. <laughs> That's what she is. She's mad. Uh, Kevin, I don't have any FBI ads, FBI, FBI ad courses because I, I don't do, I don't use them. 
Ava Blossom, it's cheaper to give your kid a cell phone and have a personal relationship with the kid and leave the mom out. That way you know what your kid really needs. You know how your money's being spent. Ava Blossom, that's real nice, but see, there's a little problem with that. If she goes to child support court, she going to get that money, whether you get a kid a phone or not. That That's one of the things. Unless you go ahead and you fight. Unique. Yo, G, I wrote down my ideal girl in a gang of females that had most of all the qualities. I'm telling y'all. You don't understand. This is why you got to write this stuff down, man. Well, congratulations. Stefan, uh, Stephen, mother is why I have chosen not to have kids at this time. Using your course through that just may have changed the next 10 plus years. Charles Hall, how can you give guys advice that already paying child support? How can we get our child support lower? Essentially, what you're going to have to do is create a business that makes a lot of money that's off the books. That's what you're going to have to do. Because, see, one of the reasons that I speak to the guys who don't have kids, who are not caught up in this, who are not married, and why they should go ahead and get the Hustlers LLC and start setting this stuff up is once your nuts are in the fire, it is very hard to get your tender boys out. Because once this system activates on you, it doesn't care. And they don't want to let that money go. The judge don't want to reduce it. She don't want to reduce it. You just an ATM. Uh, Logic. Thank you for hitting that. This dude bakes Logic Supreme. Women could take men off child support if they chose to. Yes, they could. They could forgive arrears. They can. They could do all that. How many do? Very few. Uh, Dwayne Bryant, Coach D, did you rent a storage unit to house the products you got from the storage auctions? No, I had two warehouses. Uh, Shante Sims, no, I'm smarter than the average bear, G. When you work together, the kids are happy and mother gets benefits as well. Well, all righty then. Let's give Shante a, a round of applause. I like reasonable, sensible women. Uh, we'll get a storage unit, yeah. Good Lord, Douglas Jones. I don't even know what that's about. Ava Blossom, sure can. <laughs> Uh, family courts hit some men so bad they leave the country if they still have their passport. Family courts hit some men so bad that they actually take their own lives, man. They have, you've got dudes around here who are like one more heartbreak from suicide. Uh, Jabras, does the Hustles LLC take me through the process of setting everything up? Define everything. Make sure before I answer you. That's why I followed my survival guide to being a man I wrote down. Uh, unique. Rule number one, use a condom. <laughs> that helps. I did not. I want, I want you to understand some stuff. There's a certain kind of woman who has goals and ambitions and she is not getting pregnant. She just ain't. It ain't happening. I had two kids with my ex-wife. No kids for Good Lord. Almost 20 years then. Boom, this happens. There's a reason. Fred Edwards, that's funny. Maurice Anderson. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all, y'all calm down, calm down, calm down. Just save that for disruptive mail, which is going to happen about 20 minutes after this. Let's see, where are we with this? Okay, cool. Pretty much. How to structure holding company operating agreements and send so yeah. What's your business? Sacha, it is is it hard to start a transportation business? What kind of transportation business? Transportation is trans is semi trucks, it's carrying people. What what kind of business are you talking about? The one brought, oh, there are plenty of haters. Yeah, I, dude. My new channel, oh my God. I'm afraid to go over there. Well, I went through this when I um, started the uh, storage auction business. 
Uh, well, when I started talking about the storage auction business, I mean, they were like ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous as uh, someone I know and care for says, just ridiculous. All righty. Is this already in here? Really? Robin Williams? I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's, that is, um. That is crazy. All right. So what we're going to do here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this up. Let's see. All right. This is going to be the next stream. I bet you this works. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get into here and get rid of that. And let's go to open up another window. This is something new that I'm trying. Something very new. And we're going to go for window. Go here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. That was crazy. All right. Let's try this one more again. And window. Aha, that's what I did. Here we go. Cool. Let's see. What I want y'all to do. So it's kind of like a commercial. All right, so this is gonna happen probably in like a few minutes. So here's the link. I want y'all to go over there and hit the bell because I'm probably gonna start that one shortly after this one ends. And it's going to be how to date hot women when you are a loser, fat, broke, and are ugly. <laughs> So we gonna be. <laughs> I started laughing when I looked on my editorial calendar and saw that. I said, "Oh, this is gonna be funny." I'm in a good mood today, if you can't tell. Prison van transportation. Uh, with that, I'm quite sure that you're gonna have to get some kind of special permits and stuff. So that could be very expensive to start. Uh, Hilton, yes, holding companies for set up in Hustlers LLC. All right, so um, I want y'all to go over there. I'm going to put the link in here and be ready because as soon as this one is over, I am going to start that one. Like, give it like five or six minutes because this one's going to be pretty short. Oh, it was alimony. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, so that's there. Let's come out here. All right, so this is the last call for alcohol. Go, whoops. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I am being silly. I'm in a very good mood. Uh, my dude, 50% off of anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. And you spend $150 or more, you automatically will get, when I set it up, lifetime membership to Disruptive Mail Prep. All right. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Eric Williams, I learned how to put up better Bumble pictures to get my dates on deck listening to Glendon and I'm a woman. <laughs> I guess you that could actually help women too because um, I haven't really got into the course, but when I do, it's going to be crazy because there's so many simple things that are killing your online success. I mean, like stuff that you, you'd be like, oh my God, I did that. And I'm like, yeah, you did that. All right. So um, go ahead. Get your courses and be sure to go over there, hit the bell, hit the notification stuff. And I should start in about 10 minutes after I get myself a swig of water. All right. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to comment. Be sure to like the video. And I will see you guys at Disruptive Mail in a few minutes. Peace.